Here we're looking at the black soldier fry larvae being produced for our fish food. And we're looking in front of us here at a biopod, which is a commercially made product that we can breed our black soldier fly larvae in. And we'll just come and have a close up shot and I'll lift the lid. And we can see what's happening in here. The black soldier larvae are busily consuming all the household scraps we've put in there. And you can see the larvae close up there. And we can also see some of the mature larvae here that's now walking up this gangplank and they will very conveniently drop down in the chute there for us so they're self-harvesting. They do that because they're ready to go to the next stage of their development which is to go and find their way into the ground somewhere and turn into a fly, into a mature fly. And at that stage they would then fly up into the trees somewhere and they would mate. The average life cycle of the fly itself is only about five to eight days so they're not a problem around the home. You shouldn't get the idea that these flies will become a problem around the home because they're just not interested in going into your house and being a nuisance. All they're interested in is consuming vast amounts of vegetable matter. They're really good at converting vegetable matter into protein for your fish. Take a look now at the harvesting chute. We can see that there's this tube attached and the larvae have crawled up the inside of this ramp and they drop down in here and let's just take this out. You see Madam is hanging around here thinking she's going to get some food. We'll take a look inside here. These larvae are all fresh and clean, believe it or not, and um, ready to be thrown to our fish. That's if the chooks leave any behind. Okay, we've got here some frozen black soldier fly larvae um, that we're about to feed to the fish, and you can see they're quite hard. They're actually frozen. They don't look much different to what they did before we froze them. Um, you can see I'll break one here, and um, you can see they're quite hard because they're frozen solid. So they're really good to feed the fish. Interestingly, uh, this black soldier fly larvae is about 42% protein and about 30% fat. So they're a really excellent fish food. And remember how we got them? We used our kitchen scraps, our veggie scraps, and recycled them via our compost bin. And all that wonderful protein and, and goodness and vitamins and minerals that would have been lost perhaps is now recycled and now going to our fish.